Hello everyone, welcome to the Drear Eerie. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Uh, today, I decided I was going to take on the challenge of playing King Harold Godwin's son of the House Godwin uh, in his attempt to keep his lands from both the invasions of the Norwegians and the invasion of the Normans. Uh, as you can see right now, the Norwegians have taken York. We're going to use a strategy somewhat similar to Harold's in real life, uh, but this time we're going to be a bit more defensive, as he was more of a uh, Leroy Jenkins type in real life. He successfully defeated Harald, his Norwegian foe, at the Battle of Stanford Bridge, uh, which actually is with here in York, um, but we're going to wait for him in Lincoln, and... Pray to God the Normans don't advance on us at that time. We're going to try to become exalted among men. I've sent my focus to Marshall uh, in hopes of winning this war better. Ask for help managing our titles. We're going to just be giving up a lot of land. Uh, but I have my troops, so I'm not too worried about that. Educate child. Educate child. Playing a bit loose with that. Maybe shouldn't. Uh, unmarried heir. Prince Godwinna. Uh, try to find someone who can do something, who can do something, Duke Robert, Princes of Hungary, she's a bit older, and she's, uh, okay, Mary, the relative of a king, uh, she'll probably be the most useful, but she is a bit older, um, a steward, um, our best bet is Thorald, Earl of Bedford. Uh, now let's get people doing their different tasks. Uh, improve diplomatic relations with... Oh, I don't know. Capet? I guess Capet in uh, Paris. Uh, improve religious relations, as always, with the Pope. Uh, one of the problems with playing Godwinson is this war will probably... These wars will probably go on for quite some time and tax us. So we're going to have to find a way to uh, make a good deal of money. And, of course, all of our vassals are going to despise us. Uh, but first, what we're going to do is try to win these wars. Uh, first off, by combating Hardrada. As he marches on to, of course, attack us. Um, it'll partly be up to the gods whether we win. Duke Gareth of East Anglia. Uh, as expected, it looks like we beat back the Norwegians relatively easily. And then come the marriage proposals. Alright, and the Normans are going to march on us and attack us while we're weak. <sighs> marriage proposals. We need a new court chaplain because they die all the time. Improve religious relations. Hmm. We can try to hold our ground in Lincoln against the Normans as they attack, or we could try to fall back, but in all honesty, I don't think we're going to be able to fall back that far uh, in that time, but we might want to wait. Uh, we might want the Normans to wear themselves out sieging our territory for a little bit before we actually go in for um, uh, the fight. So we're going to try to move on to York. Um, I know we don't have that much in the way of money. Uh, yeah, um, it would have been better perhaps to retreat a bit further than York. Yeah, but we'll see what comes of it. Oh, this is a bit of a nail-biter. They still have the superior numbers, and the Norwegians are just over there. But we're victorious against the Normans. Ralph Mabralf was captured in battle and is now my prisoner. Some worthless Breton of the De Gale family. I guess he's technically a no. Uh, he's technically of nobility. Uh, let's see. To the raffish rogue Harold. Oh, he doesn't like me. Uh, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. Okay, so I'm a raffish rogue, but also wisdom and mercy. We propose King Anso the Fourth of Navarra and Margaret Edward's daughter Mary. Well, he is a king, but she's of course of the family of Wessex and not of mine. But whatever, I don't care too much. Ooh, the Norwegians are 
uh, moving in a pincer against us. Um, we'll see how that works for them. Oh my god, that would be a god-awful choice. Um, Edmund, you take care of him. You child, you go wherever. Um... Philippe of France and Princess Githa of House Godwin. That's good. That's a good one. I'll take that. Hmm. Now we're going to see if the sit still in York strategy has uh, any merit to it. It looks like it might not. We probably pressed our luck. I accept the gift reluctantly. I've gained the charitable trait. Oh, 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 yeah! Yeah! We just barely held off against the... Uh, Norwayans. Uh, what's more, though, the French are regrouping, and they are going to steal more territory from me. Uh, we should actually try to not engage them in battle, as we need to wait for our troops to... Oh my god, they're already here. <laughs> well then, that's um, an instance of not being able to read the map very well. Uh, perhaps I was uh, speeding through a bit too much. Um, oh, Norwegian army? Okay, so we're fighting the Norwegians right now. Okay, so no, it's not the French. It's the Norwegians again. Uh, and we crush them as expected. Get the fuck out of my territory, Herald. Goodbye. See you later. I get tons of money from that. Money that I can use to continue on with the war effort. Uh, we're going to let the French take a bit more of our capital. Uh, it doesn't hurt us too much at this point because... Uh, the war is so much in our favor due to the battles that we've won. And we will soon be capable of fighting them on even ground. Uh, after this, I'll try to get my kingdom in order. But this will be the uh, major victory. It is taking them quite a while to besiege our territory. I'm assuming we have a good fort there, though I haven't checked. Ooh, Girth is a good leader. Uh, Overly Agro AI is going to lead them to attack us when they have a minor numerical advantage. Uh, we'll see how good it is does them. They don't have a very good leader, so I'm assuming they're going to crumble relatively quickly. Uh, surprisingly well, actually, but uh, it's a losing battle for them, no doubt. Um, we lose a 1,000 to their 3,000. That's pretty damn good by my estimates. Really, by I think by anyone's uh, accounts, that's a pretty good victory. Special minor titles grantable. That would be the title of commander. Do we have any good commanders? Uh, I kind of want Edmund to die in battle, uh, because he doesn't like me, so fuck him. Speaking of fuck him, now would be a good time to go over Harold's traits. Uh, actually, no, it wouldn't. We're in the middle of a war. Uh, but let's see. He's a skilled tactician, so his marshal's great. Uh, that's befitting of the historical Harold Godwinson. He's arbitrary, perhaps also a bit befitting of the historical Harold. Um, proud, yes. Chaste, probably trusting no well maybe and charitable well i can't speak for the real herald i do know that the real herald was considerably boastful but only about as boastful as his opponents when harold hardrada led his army at stanford bridge he demanded that herald give him the kingdom of england and herald responded that he would give him only six feet of land plus however much he was taller than the normal man because back then everyone especially the anglo-saxons were really good at boasting so, we've defeated William the Bastard. We tell him to fuck off. So, we've won these wars without the uh, death of either of our opponents. Uh, I would plot to kill Duke William, but it seems as though that's going to be a losing cause. Philippe... Vicious rumors. That sucks. That said, at least we've actually kind of got... Uh, uh, we've got non-aggression with him, so that's good. Uh, so we've won, and I'd say that we can uh, afford to let our guard down. Uh, we obviously can't. We're still in a bit of a sticky situation. Some of our vassals dislike us. Uh, but uh, all in all, now that England is free of invaders, we'll have to watch out for William because he can still press a claim on our territory. He still has that strong claim on the Kingdom of England. We'll have to try to find a way to off him eventually. Uh, but I got tons of money from defeating those invaders, and now we can look to 
established the Anglo-Saxon hold further, so past England, uh, perhaps into Scotland, tried to take out the little kingdoms in Wales, and then of course Ireland. Mm, we get to subjugate Ireland again, just like in history, except this time it will be under a good Anglo-Saxon king as opposed to a English king. So I'm just going to take a look at my heir before I do anything else. Uh, he's okay. He's pretty good. He's deceptive. His military is not all that great. Um, Earl Godwin, I'm I'm completely fine with him uh, for the most part. I wish, of course, I always want someone with like huge martial because I do like to conquer people. Like I was lucky to get a herald uh, with this martial skill because I do find that some historical figures. Uh, get really shafted when it comes to their stats in this game being like completely random um, a, a good example would be uh, King Malcolm uh, of Scotland he just tends to have like completely random off-the-wall stats that don't really reflect who he was as a person ah there we go exalted among men I figured that winning those wars would give me enough to uh, reach that title uh, and now we'll try to become a paragon of virtue you can do it, Harold. Uh, so anyways, I was basically I basically decided I wanted to do this uh, playthrough because I wanted to really look at this piece of history. Uh, some people do consider it one of the most important events in human history is the Norman invasion of England. And it really could have gone either way. Uh, if it weren't for Norwegian intervention, and if it weren't for some factors at the Battle of Hastings, we could have very well seen Harold Godwinson retain the throne of England, thus completely changing the course of human events in Europe as we know it. Uh, because we wouldn't have had the disputes between England and France, we wouldn't have had the Hundred Years' War, we would have an English language that is linguistically much closer to, say, modern German, it would all in all just be uh, a very different place to live in. Now i got to think about where I'm going to spend all my money. Well, I think we're going to hold a grand tournament, though I already am exalted among men, but it is the duty of a king to hold a great tournament. The tournament begins soon. Gather, my knights. My vassal, Duke Laufwina of Kent, has requested that a lower rank vassal should serve him, ra served him rather than me directly. Impress him with vague promises. Sure, why not? Even though I probably should give that to him. Count Skofta of Akershus is complaining about his dark cell in the dungeon. Akershus, let's see. Uh, a vassal of King Harald Hartrida. Um, can we ransom him? We'll just ransom him. So we'll let him rot. And then he'll pay his own uh, off and then he'll uh, leave. Very good. Heinrich the Fourth of the Holy Roman Empire has set up Pope Hermann Fried as an anti-pope uh, named Pope Benedictus the Tenth. Well, that was quick. Hmm. Well, as events uh, transpire on the continent, so far it's not all that uh, interesting. But uh, that's how it's going. Uh, join me next time as we actually try to make a go of this new Anglo-Saxon.